When Amna Mahmoud's one-year-old daughter Hawa started to lose weight four months ago, she thought it was just a phase. But Hawa's health continued to deteriorate, and now Amna has brought her to a malnutrition center for treatment. Because of the cost of food in the market, most of the time we can only afford to give her milk. Things are very expensive, and even when I nurse her, there's not enough to keep her full. Hundreds of children in Kasala, here in eastern Sudan, suffer from malnutrition. It's the result of a poor harvest the previous season that caused food prices to rise and left many families struggling to provide for their children. Recent floods have also destroyed hundreds of thousands of hectares of crops, raising concerns about food security, especially in rural areas. The UN says three million children around the country are suffering from malnutrition. Some cases are so severe it's stunting their growth, with some children hardly gaining any height as they age. Eight-year-old son Mahmoud is one such case. When he was four years old, he was eating little. Sometimes he went to bed without dinner. Now all his cousins, the kids in the neighborhood, were born around the same time, have grown, but he's still the same height. Half a million of the children suffering malnutrition are categorized as severe cases and in urgent need of aid, according to the children's agency UNICEF. Malnutrition is responsible for the death of 50% of children under 5, so there is an urgent need for the different sectors to come together to address the root causes. We have already started a cash transfer program for mothers, and they're starting to come to transfers for prenatal and postnatal checkups, but we need to expand that to include as many mothers as we can. Amna hopes her daughter regains her health soon, but fears that as long as she struggles with the ability to afford food, her condition will get worse. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Aroma, Kasala.